As you know, we, we count on you. Thank you. I knew he was talking about me when he couldn't pronounce my name. <laughs> 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 Sorry. You, you got the yeah, I do the right though, but it's Sadia. Sadia is the name. It means blessed, in case you're wondering. Okay, so I am Sadia Abdullah. I've been an educator here in Columbus. We've been here for about 10 years. So I've been um, at the district office, so I know exactly what's going on at the district office. I've been at the school level, so I know exactly what's going on at the school level. And what I'm trying to get people to understand is if we don't come together and pay attention to this data, because you want to, you, you, you ask the questions of what's happening to our kids. If they don't have an education, that's it. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're relegated to being slave to low paying jobs. Mm -hmm. Most of them are not going to continue in those low paying jobs, and so they're going to go out to the streets to get faster money because they want the same things that all of us want. So the one thing that I do is I go to the school board and I speak on behalf of all of our kids. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I told you guys last time, I pulled my kids out of the system because I'm not losing my black male to a public school system. I refuse. I have poured too much into my son to just leave him to the school and let them strip everything that I put into him. Our schools don't speak to our children about who they are. They don't uplift them. They tear them down and take what you want from this. It's not just people of other races that does this to our children. That part. Pay attention to the things your children are telling you about what's happening to them at schools. Pay attention to our communities. Sometimes it's us hurting us and not lifting up our kids. So the school board recently gave the superintendent of school a 20% raise. 20% raise. Who gets a 20% raise? Mm -hmm. But they gave him unanimously, every single one of them voted yes to a 20% raise and a three year extension on his contract. Mm -hmm. If you vote for anybody to sit in an incumbent seat, you have just supported that. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to who those board members are. We have to hold them accountable because they're supposed to hold the superintendent accountable. But if we don't do our part, they don't have to do their part. Mm -hmm. You have school board members whose husband um, is getting funding from the school board because he's in a contracting business. He pours concrete. We keep playing for this East Blast. The next East Blast is gonna be $290 million. But see, they send it to us and say, it's just a penny tax. It's a penny tax. $290 million is not a penny. So please pay attention. So, one thing I love is statistics. I'm a data person. That's the only math that makes sense, to be honest with you. So, the statistics for our children, if you are black and in Columbus going to school, 60 plus percent of our children cannot read on grade level in the fourth grade. So what that means is, if you have 10 of our black children, six of them, possibly seven, because it's 60 plus percent, seven of them can't read on grade level. Only three can. Three. And may I interject this? If you don't know, if a child cannot read by the third grade, they start putting money into building sales for them. If a child cannot read by the third grade, then they are more likely to drop out of school, mm -hmm. to not graduate. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to get in college if you can't read on grade level. Most jobs, you gotta be able to fill out an application. If you can't read the application, there goes that. Mm -hmm. So if our kids can't read, what are we giving them? What future are we giving them? So everything else that we have, you can play with your mental health. And believe me, I, I have a therapist. And if you don't have one, I suggest you go get one. Because sometimes we got to talk about all this stuff we go through as black people in America. We got to talk to somebody. So what, what are we giving them if they can't read? You can give them mental health services, but they still can't read. You can give them some job training, but they're going to be limited if they can't read. This stuff is high tech out here. You can't just go in there and tinker, tinker. <laughs> That stuff is high tech. These people who do, I mean, and you gotta know some math. 
Only 20% of kids can do math on grade level in Muskogee County Schools. That's the whole county. Like 23% of third graders, 27% of fifth graders and eighth graders. Well then how are you gonna come to my house and do the numbers to build an addition on my house? Cause you gotta get the pitch right. Otherwise I'm gonna have a leaking roof and it's just gonna be a hot mess and I just throw my money away. So these things matter. If we don't pay attention to what's happening to our kids' education, all the rest of it is for naught. I just went to um, Winfred Rembert. They, they had a screening of his life at the, um, the museum. And I don't know if I've seen any of you here, but when they were showing Georgia in a not too long ago time and how we retreated in this lovely state of ours. The schools have stripped all of that knowledge from our kids. They have no idea. They have no idea. They have no idea that just a generation ago, we were in the, in the cotton fields, we were being lynched, we were being beaten. All of that is washed away from their minds and they think they're free. If we don't give them an education, they'll never be free.